Greetings. I don't know about you, but I really love when I find new parts of history. I love when radical historians or historians who want to revise history in some way, shape, or form bring forth some new knowledge, knowledge that is not part of the conventional story of history. I always love to expand my mind that way. Recently, I read a book called The First Emancipator about someone named Robert Carter III. As the author Andrew Levy noted, most people have no idea who he is. I certainly never heard of him before. And I like to consider myself well read and I like to explore different sources. So this was a very earth shattering book in my view. Earth shattering indeed. The main thesis of this book is the fact that this founding father, unlike Washington and Jefferson, actually freed his slaves in his lifetime. As the author noted, Robert Carter III owned about 450 slaves. And the author likes to point out this example of Robert Carter III refutes the common excuse for Washington and Jefferson that they couldn't do anything about it. People like to say they were a product of their time. Now, I've always considered that absolute baloney because consider this. Although society at that time had a majority view that slavery was acceptable, there were plenty of abolitionists who considered it wrong. There were abolitionists. If these people are to be heroes, they should be ahead of their time, not merely at the status quo. So Andrew Levy pointed out that though it took a while for Robert Carter III to free his slaves, he struggled with it over decades. He eventually decided, hey, this institution is wrong. I'm a part of it. I'm going to redeem myself. I'm going to free my slaves. And he did. 450 of them. And the thing of the matter is, as the author pointed out, it was very inconvenient for him. He struggled financially with it. It wasn't something that was easy to do. He had a sacrifice, in other words. But Jefferson didn't do that. As he and others pointed out, Jefferson had plenty of opportunities to free his slaves. I remember reading there was even someone who offered Jefferson money to free his slaves, and Jefferson declined. So we can look back at history and see this new piece of the puzzle. Now, I don't know if Robert Carter should qualify as a hero, but he at least redeemed his soul. He did the right thing. Sure, it would have been better if he did it much earlier, but he did the right thing. He did something that these men who are plastered everywhere did not do.